Hey there, crochet creators, and welcome to Forest Feather Fashion. I'm Candice, and in honor of Earth Month, I've decided to design some barefoot sandals, or as I call them, fairy shoes. In this video, I will be walking you through two different patterns. I've included timestamps, so you can jump to the one you'd like to make, or make them both. First up, the Circle of Life Barefoot Sandals. You'll need a wooden ring, three beads, yarn, a crochet hook, a yarn needle, and scissors. You can use any ring that you might have on hand, like an old piece of jewelry. We'll start with the ring. Tie your yarn onto the ring. You can make a double knot to make sure that it's secure. Insert your hook and pull the yarn to the front. Chain 12. This will be the toe loop. Then slip stitch into the ring. You can now fasten this off. I chain one and cut the yarn and put it through to make a knot. Now grab your yarn and make a double knot on the opposite side of the ring. Insert your hook and pull your yarn forward chain three. This will count as your first double crochet. Yarn over and insert your hook, pull up the loop, yarn over and pull through two. Now we'll make another incomplete double crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now we'll chain two, and insert another three incomplete double crochets. So that's one. Two. And the third incomplete double crochet. Now you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four. Turn your work so that the yarn is in the front and slip stitch into the chain two space. Chain three and make another two incomplete double crochets into the chain two space. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we'll chain two and insert another three incomplete double crochets into the same chain two space. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Turn your work and slip stitch into the chain two space. Continue this pattern to make the cord as long as the top of your foot. I've made mine five rows or five clusters long. When you've reached your desired length, after pulling through the last four loops, we will start making the chain. I like my ankle straps quite long, so I'm chaining 140 but you can make this as long or as short as you would like. When your chain is done, tie off the end and grab your first bead. Insert this onto your chain and pull it all the way down to the beginning of the chain. We will now be working back down the chain. So you can either tie your yarn directly into the last chain stitch or make a magic knot like this. This will save you weaving in more ends at the end of your project.
On the front of the chain, you will notice these Vs and on the back, these little knobs. That's where we will be working our single crochets into. It makes the project look a lot neater in the end. I'm chaining one and making a single crochet into every chain stitch in the back knob. I've clearly made my chain a bit too tight, but you can avoid this by using a larger crochet hook to make the foundation chain. Make single crochets all the way down and I'll meet you when you get to the bead. After you've made a single crochet in the chain just above the bead, insert your hook into the stitch next to the bead on top of the cord and make a single crochet. Now make a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. and then make a chain the length of your first ankle strap. Crocheting on the beach was an amazing experience until I was attacked by fire ants. So we will continue this tutorial from home. So I've chained 140 and I've pulled the second bead all the way down to the beginning of the chain. Now I'm working single crochets back down the chain towards the bead. When you reach the bead, insert a single crochet in the chain just above the bead and then a single crochet next to the bead at the top of the cord. You can now cut your yarn but make sure that the tail is long enough as we will be joining our third bead using the tail. Add the bead onto the tail and then insert your crochet hook into the stitch underneath the bead. Bring a loop forward, yarn over, and pull this through to make a knot. And now you can weave in all your ends. And now you have your completed Circle of Life Barefoot Sandals. The Leafy Green Barefoot Sandals. You'll need yarn, two wooden beads, crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. Make a slip knot and chain four. Slip stitch into the first chain to make a circle. Then chain 14. This will be the toe loop. slip stitch into the circle and then make another slip stitch into a stitch on the opposite side of the circle. Chain 4. Now we'll make a treble crochet into the base of the chain 4. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now chain three. Turn your work, and now we'll be making a half double crochet puff stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up the loop. We'll do this four times. Two, three, And four. Now yarn over and pull through all nine loops. Chain three and make a slip stitch into the base of the puff stitch. Chain four.
and make a treble crochet into the circle. Chain three, turn your work and make a four half double crochet puff stitch. It's one, two, three, and four. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Chain three and slip stitch into the base of the puff stitch. So again, we'll be chaining four, making a treble crochet into the circle. Then we'll be chaining three, turning our work and making a four half double crochet puff stitch. Continue this until it's the length of the top of your foot. I've ended up with seven leaves on my vine. After making your last leaf, we will start chaining straight away to make the thicker band around the ankle. Chain 12. And work single crochets across the chain in the knobs on the back. Make a single crochet into the treble circle and then slip stitch into the next leaf. And now we'll chain 12. Turn your work and make single crochets along the chain. And make a slip stitch in the center stitch. And now you can fasten this off. Insert your hook into the single crochet at the end of your ankle band and tie a knot. Chain two. Make a half double crochet in every stitch across. Make a half double crochet in that center single crochet and make sure that the left side of your ankle band isn't twisted. I've untwisted mine and continue making half double crochets all the way to the end. After your last half double crochet stitch, we'll be making a slip stitch in the side middle section of the ankle band. Now we can begin our ankle straps. For this one, I'm chaining 100. Cut your yarn and fasten this off. We can now add the bead to the end of the chain. Insert your crochet hook into the chain, grab the yarn, make a loop, yarn over and pull this through to make a knot. I'm also making a knot around the base of the bead just to secure it. To make the other strap, insert your hook in the middle of the side, make a knot, and chain 100. 
Repeat the same process by adding the bead onto the end of the tail. Now it's time to weave in all the ends. And now you have completed your leafy green barefoot sandals. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more sustainable fashion tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram at Forest Feather Fashion and please do tag me if you've decided to make these sandals. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, happy creating!